Toy Genie surprises. Hey guys, today we have a fake surprise mania. Oh my goodness, there are so many fake surprise balls going on right now. It's not even funny. So I just want to make sure that you guys don't get fooled. I have covered some of these before and there are so many more different LOL or LQL surprise ones. But we have LQL here, Hatchimals, Fingerlings, and My Little Pony Equestria Girls. So let's go through all of these and find out what's inside or what they're trying to imitate. Here is a gold ball. And these are so tiny compared to the real ones that you can't really tell if it's going to be a little sister or a big doll until you open it up. And let's see who we have inside. Oh my goodness. Oh jeez. <laughs> So these are the ones that are so hard that you cannot get any water in this. They don't color change and their arms are glued down to the side. And look at her. Oh my gosh. Who are they trying to imitate here? Do you guys know? Can you guys take a guess? Let's get a fingerlings next. By the way, there are no holes in the mouth or the eyes, so you know they cannot spit, pee, or cry. And look, it looks like there's a little hole here, right? But it doesn't go all the way into the head. <laughs> oh, and this is Crystal Queen, I think, by the way. Crystal Queen doesn't look anything like this, but I think they're trying to imitate Crystal Queen here from series one. And here is a Fingerlings surprise ball. Oh my gosh. We have a purple unicorn. And you can see that the coloring is off. I don't know what it's holding in its hand. Looks like it might be banana. Way too tiny for it to be a fingerling. And here is the tail. And it has no interactive features whatsoever. <laughs> it will barely probably fit on her hand, her finger. <laughs> Next, let's get a Hatchimals. And... These are actually quite interesting. Let's see what we get out of here. We have a sticker. We have a collector sticker, Toys Beyond Magic. And if you notice, they're all coming out of these LOL balls that these strange companies are trying to imitate. And so here we have a little hanger. I don't know what this is. I think this is supposed to go on the hanger and connect to the ball, but it's so crooked. This is an LOL baggie or an imitation LOL baggie. And then this hatch, oh my gosh. Okay, so I opened a couple of these before and then when you squeeze them, they don't crack. This one cracks, but the heart won't turn from purple to pink. And here is our little birdie. It's got wings, but it doesn't have glittery wings. <laughs> and the foot is really strange, too. So, I don't know why they paired it with LOL doll bags. And this one actually cracked open, so this is quite interesting. <laughs> Let's see if our fake LOL will stand in here. <laughs> so let's get and My Little Pony one next. And let's scoot all these back because the My Little Pony one is pretty big. 
These are about the same size as the real LOL Big Sister balls. And we have a sticker of some My Little Pony Equestria Girls. So the main six ponies. And inside we have a pink ball. And the pink ball is still an LOL ball. You see that? <laughs> Let's crack this open. And, oh my gosh, see they gave another LOL bag, backpack. Here is the collector's guide. And these are not the main six ponies and these are definitely not Equestria Girls. <laughs> Except for maybe Fluttershy and Pinkie Pie. So it looks like they did give us Pinkie Pie, but she has no cutie marks whatsoever. This is a Pinkie Pie mold, but this is not a real Pinkie Pie. This is not how a real one feels like. And she won't stand. <laughs> oh, there it goes. And here is our doll. Can you guys tell me who you guys think she is? Hmm. She looks nothing like any of the main six Equestria girls, guys. And her arms don't move. Neither do her legs. These are really strange. And she won't stand. So we'll lay her down. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, you know what? She might stand in here. Nope. Okay, so we'll leave these in a pile. <laughs> and let's get another LOL surprise or LQL surprise. There's so many different versions of the LOLs or the LQLs. We have another gold ball. And let's see who we get out of here. We got a duplicate doll. Duplicate Crystal Queen. Oh my goodness. So here she is. <laughs> With faded paint, her eyes are colored really strangely. The whites of the eye is off. And these dolls literally do nothing. They're just a hard doll. They're not soft. You can't squeeze them. Well, okay. You can turn their heads. <laughs> That's all they will do. Even this is fake, which is so ridiculous. <laughs> so let's get another Hatchimals and let's see if we might get a different one than the purple unicorn. Here's our sticker. And here's another sticker. Let's pop it. So here's a shell LOL purse. And this time around, they put this inside a baggie. <laughs> and look at this. You can see that they kind of put glue on the bottom of it. Okay, so the last time it squeezed open, and now I'm scared because one time I really hurt my hand squeezing these. So I'm going to try to hammer this with another surprise ball. <laughs> there we go. And what do we get? A little hippo, a yellow hippo. <sighs> These are hilarious. This also doesn't have a glittery wing or anything. And we can put it in here. And once you open it up, it's quite easy to peel, but it's very hard to press in otherwise. Let's get this fingerlings. See if we might get a different fingerling. And 
what we did. We got a different purple unicorn. <laughs> oh, it's not. It's the same one. I thought it was different. Okay. It's the same one because I thought it was different because the nose was different. But I don't know. This one has like something brown on its nose. <laughs> and this one doesn't. But we got the same one. Look at that. So I cannot imagine when you go and buy a surprise and you get so many of the same ones. So here is another My Little Pony one. And let's tear this open. Here's the collector sticker or the actual sticker, not collector sticker. And ew, something gross on here too. Here are some true friendship stickers. Oh, by the way, I didn't even show you guys this. This says Pinkie Pie, Rainbow Dash, and Dr. Horse. And as far as I know, Rainbow Dash does not look like that. And Dr. Horse does not either. The only one that they got right is Pinkie Pie. <laughs> and what did we get? Okay, we got a different doll this time, and we got <laughs> Twilight Sparkle, a pony in Twilight Sparkle's mold, but in Pinkie Pie's colors. <laughs> this is too crazy. So, here is our other doll, and it's actually the same doll with just different hair. I hope none of you guys have been fooled by these fake surprises because you won't be getting anything close to the real thing. And My Little Pony Hatchimals and Fingerlings do not come in surprise balls. The only ones that do are the LOLs and even the LOLs are not correct. <laughs> well guys, that's it for this video. So let me know in the comment section, have you guys been fooled by fake surprises before? Have you guys gotten any? And do they look real? And have you been fooled? <laughs> See you guys in the comment section. Bye bye for now. Hey guys, today we have some fake LOL surprise dolls. So some of you guys have been asking me to show some fake LOL surprise dolls and what's inside and what's the cost and so on and so forth because some of you guys have been considering buying fake LOLs. So this is a fake LOL, a box. It comes in a box of three and this was $12. So you're looking at, you know, $4 for each one of these. But I've also seen these individually packed for anywhere from six to nine dollars. But if you get a real one, you only add like one dollar more and you actually get a real one. So how you tell if you are getting a real one or a fake one, first off you can see that this says LQLQ -L -Q and not really LOL. <laughs> and I've actually seen these like like this, L O or L Q L, like that without the extra Q. And I've also seen these like nicely packaged in a single box. So you can see that from the top here, these are actually listed as series one as well as series two. You have here Crystal Queen, Neon Cutie, Heartbreaker, and Curious Cutie. These three are from series two. This one is from series one, but I have no idea what's inside. I haven't opened the box yet. So this is how it looks. Oh my gosh, in the back of the box, <laughs> you can see that Royal Heine is upside down. And we also have Hoops MVP right here and it says, Unbox Me. So let's see what happens when we unbox. So wow, right away, oh my gosh. So these are a lot lighter, but right away I see a weird lump here that the normal LOLs don't have. This is an actual series too. This is a mix of series one and series two. You see that? They have a series two here. <laughs> and on here, you can see that it's Merbaby, which is actually the doll that's on the series one ball. And you can see that, you know, the ball is a lot smaller, plus it's actually a lot lighter. And you can hear stuff rolling around in this one, and you can't really hear anything going on inside of the real LOL. So let's, oh, right, 
Here's the other thing that I noticed from the outside of the box. You can tell that there's a barcode on the real LOL. They will always have like this tiny little number here. You see that? The number seven or whatever number that they normally have. But the fake ones, they don't have that tiny little number there. It's just a bunch of normal numbers without the tiny little seven at the end. Oh, they actually put the big seven on the front instead, I guess. So this is how it looks. And let's open this up. Okay, so this actually doesn't even have the real zipper tear. You see this? This is a real LOL and it will have a real zipper like that. This does not have a real zipper rip. So you're just tearing into the package like this. And it looks like, wow. <laughs> It looks like every layer is the same Merbaby wrapper. So it's showing as Series 2. The real one, sometimes it's a little bit hard to tear down too, but at least they have the little dotted lines for the zipper to actually tear. So this is the second layer, and you can see that it's the same as the first layer. And that's not how it is in a real LOL. Oh my gosh, it's dirty! Ick! So, <laughs> here is what that weird lumpy thing was. And, why is it dirty? Okay, let's... Okay, let me clean this ball off. Let me see. Oh my gosh! It doesn't even close tightly! <laughs> it doesn't even pop open. Oh my gosh, and it's dirty. Oh my goodness. Oh my gosh, there's like mud and stuff inside. Okay, so we have the collector stickers, and it says that you can feed, bathe her, and, you know, tell her, change her, or make her cry. And I have never seen a blonde doll like this before. She has no clothes, but her hair is completely dirty. Oh my gosh, her eye has, like, she has a damaged eye. And her body, okay, so she has no shoes. It's like the shoes are part of the molding. And they put a screw in the back of her body. And I don't know if that's to hold her together or what, but I gotta, I gotta clean this off, guys. <laughs> okay, so let's see if we can even row. Okay, so the dirt, you can see it comes off. But it is quite dirty, but not all of it will come off. Oh my gosh, it's getting everywhere. So here are her glasses. She comes with a pair of glasses. The glasses do fit okay, but the quality is really strange. So here is uh, like a manual collector's guide that shows you what it's supposed to do, but it doesn't even do that because it doesn't have this piece for the pizza to go in. And we have a little outfit. And here's our little bottle and the inside is completely like muddy. I don't know <laughs> what happened there. So here is her outfit and it is quite soft. And it does fit on her, but you can see that the gold is like not painted right. It's supposed to be on the bow, but it's not. And there is no collector's guide, so I have no idea who this is supposed to be, who they're trying to make this be, because it doesn't look like any of the dolls, and it is dirty! <laughs> so, let me actually pop off the head really quick, let's see if we can pop off the head. Okay, so we can pop off the head, and let me go get some water to see if she actually color changes, or if we can actually even feed her. So here's some water, and let's see if the bottle works. Looks like the bottle does work. And I normally like to dunk my dolls right into the water to see if it will do what it needs to do. So you, so if you do this, you can feel that the doll is a lot harder, so she's gonna be a lot harder to squeeze. And let's see what she does. Okay, so she's a spitter. Oh, her dress actually color changes. <gasps> So yeah, she will spit. And her dress actually changed colors. So let me go get some more water to see if I can change it back. 
So here's some warm water and let's try to change the dress back. So the dress actually color changes back. <laughs> okay, I gotta say, I thought a skunk just passed by, but it's not. It's actually this. <laughs> this smells like skunk almost. So I don't know what they made these out of, but they smell. <laughs> So let's get another one and see what we get. Okay, so this time we have a red ball inside. Not the purple, not the pink one, I mean. <laughs> And they don't really, let's see, maybe this one will snap open. Oh, yeah, they don't really snap open or snap closed. And oh my gosh. So here is another doll. <laughs> and I don't know if this is supposed to be Heartbreaker. You know, it's Heartbreaker's hairstyle, but it's not half white and half black. So... Here are her glasses, and I think they're trying to give her cheer captain's little outfit. Oh no! You can see that the paint is really messed up here. And she comes with a bottle, but this ball is not dirty, so... <laughs> and only one sticker, so very inconsistent. And let's put this outfit on her and see what she does. So this is how she looks and we will put her in the water, in the cold water. Did she color change? Okay, so her white dress went from white to yellow. And then let's give her a squeeze. And she is also a spitter. Let me go grab Heartbreaker so you guys can see the difference between this one and the real Heartbreaker and also Chair Captain. <laughs> so here is Heartbreaker and here is Chair Captain. And let's see. She's a little bit shorter than the real Heartbreaker. And she's a little bit taller than Chair Captain. Well, actually, they're almost the same height. But you can see that they're trying to make the dress of Chair Captain here. <laughs> and then you can see that the eyes are, the paint job is kind of peeling a little bit. But the dress color is actually staying for a while. It doesn't go back to its normal color unless you actually put it in warm water, which is kind of interesting. So now you'll see that it's going back to white. And I don't believe these dolls actually pee. So they will color change, spit, and I also don't think they'll cry because if, if they pee, they would need a little straw here and they don't have that. Put this back on and there are no holes in the eyes for crying. So there's this one. And now let's get our last one out and see what this one is all about. Right away, I mean, you can feel that it kind of, like the two halves of the ball, they don't even fit together <laughs> well. So. These are quite easy to open up though. See, the ball is kind of cracking open already. So, I think the ball is meant to like loop together here, but I think they forgot a little peg or something that goes there. So it's supposed to pop open like that, but it doesn't. Oh, did we get two of the same dolls? I think we did. <laughs> we got two of the exact same dolls. Okay, this one's eye is a little bit better. It's not chipped like the other one. Two of the same dolls and 
Here is actually a different dress where they try to make it a little bit different. And I can't, there is no blonde doll like this. There isn't a blonde doll like this in the LOL series. The only one that I can think of that it might be trying to imitate is maybe Faname, which actually has black hair. And I'll show you Faname in just a bit. But let's sink her in some water. And... Okay, so her dress just went, it's pretty cool actually. The dress went from that blue color to purple. But the doll itself, I mean, you can barely squeeze the head. And they're all spinning dolls. They are not crying dolls, and they are not peeing dolls. So the dress color changes. And then we can color change the dress back. See? Okay, so let me show you guys the doll that I think it's trying to imitate, but with a different hair color. <laughs> so here we are, here is Fanime. And you can see from the front of the hair that it looks the same. And then in the back, they're sort of making it like that. <laughs> So, unless you guys can think of another one, who else do you guys think they might be trying to imitate with this blonde LQL doll? <laughs> so just to give you guys an idea of how a real LOL is supposed to open up, for those of you who are new to LOL collecting, the tear actually tears down like this. And then there is a clue on the first layer. And this one says, fangirl. There's actually a clue or a surprise on almost, on every layer actually. So there's another perfect pair. And this layer gives you some collector stickers. And this is how the collector stickers are supposed to look. Not like this. And then, here is another layer. Tear it this way. And this layer, you will have a bottle that's actually in a blind bag. So you can see that we have a teal and pink bottle. And then... Here is another blind bag. And inside of these, we have the shoes. The shoes are not painted on or molded onto the doll itself. You actually get individual shoes, which is really cute and awesome. And then I hope you guys noticed that along the way, each one of the wrappers were different for each layer. They were not the same for every layer. So here's our little outfit. And, ooh, do you guys know who we got already? <laughs> super bright clothing and we have a top and a skirt and you can see that the ball holds together really really well there's no breaking unless you actually pop it open so there we go and then you can actually see that this actually becomes a little purse for your lol doll once you snap this back together there we go and then it comes with a little strap that you can fit inside of here. There we go. <laughs> and the top you can use to stand up your LOL dolls. There's a little footprint here for you to hold up your LOL dolls. But let's open this up and let me show you the little pizza. Here's the lid for the outfit and there's a little slice of pizza there that you can put inside for your doll, which the fake one does not have. It's just a plain pink ball. So those are all the small details that you can see in a real one versus a fake one. And there's so many blind bags in the real one. Here are the glasses. Super cute. And here is our doll. Comes in a blind bag. You see? 
Here she is, Neon Cutie, and she has on painted leggings, which is so cool. And you can put the shoes on as well as dress her piece by piece, which is really fun. So there's her skirt. Oh, you know what? Let me show you guys the back. So here is the back of the fake one. Here's the back of the real one. You can see there is no screw on the back of the real ones. So let me put her outfit back on really quickly. And then let's get Neon dressed up. Then we can find out what her special ability is. Here are her shoes. So super adorable. Now I'll put her glasses on in just a bit, but let's get some water and see what she does. Let's dunk her in the water and give her a squeeze. And you can feel right away that her head is really soft, so it makes it really easy to squeeze her head. And then she can fill up with a lot of water. <laughs> So that makes spitting much easier. <laughs> so let's get our little glasses on Neon QT. We can actually put it there or we can flip it up. <laughs> and we can stand her on her little ball. We'll flip it this way. And she'll stand with her shoes on so that it becomes a display. Well guys, that's it for this video. So there you have it. This is what you will find inside a fake LOL or LQL um, LOL surprise imitation doll. And the quality just isn't there. You might get some dolls, but you won't get the shoes or the cool outfits. Um, and also, I don't believe the dolls do anything else but spit. <laughs> So let me know in the comment section if you can think of any other doll that this one might be trying to imitate. And since this fake one doesn't come with a collector's guide, they also don't have names. So see you guys in the comment section. Bye bye for now. Thank you for watching the Toy Genie channel. If you like this video, be sure to give it a thumbs up. That lets me know to make more videos just like this for you. Click or tap on this video to watch it. Click or tap to subscribe. It's free. Plus, you get to see my latest videos. And until next time, be happy and keep smiling.